Hey, what's up, everybody? It's another episode. This episode is called 444 for a reason, but I'm going to let you guys know it's definitely at the end. Right now, today, we have a special guest. He's definitely a visual artist, designer, fashion designer. Mars, what's up, bro? How are you doing? Definitely, definitely. So you got the power Yeah, man. I mean, while we're doing this, I actually got to work on a design for my boy. Got a uh-huh. character by the name of Hefe. He's real big in the club, so you should, should really see that coming out. But just so I need a little time for a little, like a two birds out. You know, one stone. One stone. So while the show's going see. on, definitely, Mars is going to be joining in the meantime. Don't miss out. Definitely tune in. Sound 444. Like, so again, uh, Mars, definitely a pleasure having you. Absolutely. Definitely, man. definitely. I'll be seeing you on Instagram doing your thing. Appreciate that. This whole pulling line. Definitely just, just drawing, like, and your art is definitely just dope. Appreciate that, bro. Definitely, Appreciate definitely. that. And I see you with, here with a, with a pencil and Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready, ready, like. I'm out here. But, um, yeah, bro, like, the, the art is, like, it's something that just, it's, it's real natural to me, bro. Like, I started doing this since I was young. Right now, I'm just really big on the streetwear. You know, like my, my aesthetic when it comes to design is real streetwear, you know, so it's like, um, it's gritty, grungy, you know, it's a lot of like black ink, you know, not too much paintings going on, it's just really like pen and ink, pencil and ink, you know. And I'm really just, uh, I really stick to like the Stussy, you know, Stussy's real big, bro. Stussy's really like a big influence to me um, with the streetwear, how he started off. So streetwear's really my thing, especially with the, with the art and the designing. And actually try to try to bring that into the fashion too, street wear. That's just dope. Like, like more of a into like I guess like official type of cool. Like you, yeah. you see like how the people just proper with like with the blazer. Yeah, it's something like you, know, it's clean. Like you just want to kind of like bring urban to that. Uh, absolutely, and I, a lot of people do it too. You know, like I, I look up to like you know designs like uh, Y three, mm-hmm. um, there's Jun Takahashi from um, uh, Undercover. You know. He's a big person that I look up to that mixes in the streetwear right. with the high fashion, you know. He's a man that will go from doing t-shirts with graphics right. to a crazy silhouette of like a dress right. with bat wings. Wow. Draping down. Fly, fly, bro. It's, it's, it's different. Like, I don't know. I would never wear it. For me. But it's, <laughs> it goes to show the, the craftsmanship and right. the art that you can mix in the streetwear with the high fashion. Mm-hmm. So it's an influence. That's really where I want to go with, with my designs. Okay, okay. When did you actually start get like, what made you think that you get into drawing? Like, when did you start doing this? Um, it actually started when I was like, from what I can remember, probably when I was like five, four. Um, I started wow. in pre-K. I remember we was making dinosaurs out of like rocks. Dinosaur out of rocks. Out of rocks, we was like we was making like a skeleton, the skeleton shape of the dinosaur, and it's just like I started getting mad creative. I seen the rocks, I seen like some little paper clips, and I started like making the teeth out of like clay, and I was just going off, and I'm just there, and I'm just like, yo, this is fun, like in my head, mm-hmm. it's just like yo, this is really fun. And from there, so every time it came down to art, I was finessing, bro. Like I loved wow. it. Like, I feel like it just naturally mm-hmm. came to me, you know? It's not something that I had to practice. I did have to practice it, you know, mm-hmm. to perfect it. Of course. But it's something that I felt like, you know, God gave me, you know, as, as a talent, feel me? It was, it was my born talent. Right. I, I love to believe that it's, it was my born talent. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, definitely. Um, but, like, it was, like, it's crazy how you say it's four or five years old. Like, yeah, I remember that, bro. Like, like, it's, 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 it's really, it really came down to that. Like, as I was, like, Thinking about it as I grew older, it's like I, I came to realize that that was really like my passion. That was really right. like my gift, like a talent. And it was definitely just drawn. It just just came to me, bro. Like it was love at first sight kind it, of thing. Exactly. It was like yeah. love at first sight, bro. The hand with the pen and the pencil, it, it just really came to me, bro. Wow, that's crazy. So um, how long So how long you been doing like drawing or fashion? Like, you know, drawing with fashion. How long you been doing it? Well, I, that actually started, I think, my freshman year. I went to a, a high school by the name of YMA, mm-hmm. and at the time, I already saw this little group for me. If y'all know, y'all know it was called Team Flashy. I got, yo, people was cutting my ass for that. Oh, <laughs> it was called man. Team Flashy. I mean, if you know, you know. But it was actually a group of just, like, basically hypebeats, bro. At the time, we was wearing the jean jackets mm-hmm. with the ripped up, you know, 
denim and we was putting patches on. It was that type of era wow. for me. This was yeah. like, this was years ago. This was probably like six years ago, five years ago. And mm -hmm. when I was doing the jackets, I noticed I was like, I was ripping them and putting like, I was ripping up t-shirts and putting them behind the rips. So as you could, as you walk, you could see the design of the t-shirt through the mm -hmm. rips that I did. And I was getting mad creative with it. Right. So then I started just drawing on it. Mm -hmm. And that's when I realized, you know, people was telling me, yo, this is hot, bro, this is fire. Right. So I'm like, yo, you know, I could actually make some money off of this. Right. So Definitely. then me and my boy, my boy, my boy Ski, my boy Brian, mm -hmm. at the time, um, we we was like, yo, we should start our own brand or something. It was mm -hmm. cool. Like, you know how to draw. And for me, like, I, I, I like doing graffiti. So we started, like, some little, you know, it was just something that came out of the, the blue. It was called yeah. Speechless. We made our first T-shirts. Wow. You know, it was just a sample. We never released it. It was just, we had the t-shirts, but everybody... It was, the, it was like, kind of like the vision? Yeah, the everybody was sweating the t-shirts, though. Mm -hmm. We had, like, some, some dope designs going on. We had speech just in, like, a cloud bubble. It was really cool. Wow. But after that is when it really sparked in my head. You know, hey, I should actually try to do this with my art. Mm -hmm. Put it on clothing, see what I could take it from there. That's, that's dope. So that was, like, five years ago. That was my freshman year. Wow. That's crazy. Um, like... And do you attend, you attend fashion school now, right? Uh, this year I just started um, attending fashion school. It's a New York School of Design. Mm -hmm. It's down at the Garment District, and it's an amazing school, bro. Coming from somebody that doesn't really know high fashion, right. I just know how to draw ink, paper. I just learned self-taught, you know? Right. This is a school that will accept anybody. Mm -hmm. If you want to get your foot in the door through fashion or music or art, this school is where you go to. You know, it's a it's a six six month program. It's like a trade school. You right. don't have to have no ba background in fashion. Wow. This is where you go to be taught how mm -hmm. to talk fashion. That that was my problem. I didn't know how to talk fashion. Mm -hmm. I knew about fashion, but I feel like to be accepted into the to the fashion world, right. which is you, you could be judged a lot by your work. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of critiques. I, I wanted to learn a lot more fashion, the knowledge of it, the history, That's to really expand my mind. Because you know, it's just like nowadays anybody could start a brand right you got to think outside the box so i attended that school it was like a six-month program and i've learned a lot bro. it was dope but it's just me in the process of learning like accepting that i'm not you know i'm not nobody yet for me it's a process to get to where i want to be right so, and you're flying you're flying do i see you here with appreciate the, with the polo you, know, you know sunlight, sunlight. Yeah, man, I, I mean i see you on the ground always on like on a fly tie and i'm just like yo <laughs> this guy is fly. It, bro. i came here and i'm like yo can i pull something off like, man it's like bro it's, 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 it's <laughs> calm bro it's calm and speaking of you being always fly you also got your own polo line that you just like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. you rock and, and it's Absolutely. definitely tough and Zell actually wearing it too, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, my man Zell, yeah, Zell always supporting the movement. That's a fact, that's a fact. So what, what made you come up with Joan Polo Line, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, that is actually, um, it's not actually my clothing brand. It's, right. um, I have a lot of say in the brand, though. I, I designed for the brand, actually. Mm -hmm. But um, it's actually the team of us. The brand is called Private, um, also known as PBT. Okay. PBT down to the socks. I don't know if you can get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we down to the socks. Oh, that's um, dope. Yeah, it's a streetwear. It's real, real streetwear. Mm -hmm. And I really thank, thank, thank PBT for where I, you know, came to be now, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, they taught me a lot. A lot right. about the streetwear game, the business, you know, the, you know, the inside and out for me, you know. Right. And PBT, I feel like this is, this is like my blueprint. This is where I started with PBT. Mm -hmm. You know, so I really thank them. So they gave me the opportunity to design. Right. All of this was just me, you know, drawing in my notebooks and all of that. Mm -hmm. When it came to PBT and the team, it's like they accepted me and they really showed me what I can do for me. They gave me, it's like they handed me the pencil, they handed me the paper, you know, it's like, yeah. Become more visual. Yeah, like, you know, we're allowing you to do this and put your work out. You that's know, that's what we can do. Right. So PBT is like, a lot of people think it's really my brand, but it's not just my brand. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a team of us. We all put in the same work. Right. I mean, that's I think, good. When it comes to like a brand, a business being successful, mm -hmm. the main thing you need is definitely a loyal team. And then Zell's, Denzel's a part of us, bro. Denzel's like our photographer, bro. He's behind the visuals. Mm -hmm. Just how we doing here, he's doing his thing out here too. For real, shout out to him. I shout out to Zell, that's a fact. I he got, he got the brand on right now, but it just goes to show that if you don't have a team, it's like you can only go so far. Right. And we so like with the brand, it's like we have the designer, it's me, you got my boy OG, he's like my mentor. We mm -hmm. got Jay, that's the businessman. That's the man who really started it all. Oh, so you got everybody like in different, it's like we, it's the exactly, different sections. Exactly. Yeah. And right now, it's like, it just takes time, bro. Like, but with the brand, 
I can say it's mine if people believe it's mine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more than that. It's a team. Right. Bro. We all put in the same effort. We all put in the same time. Sweat, bro. It's a process, bro. To really get to where you want to be, I think it's all about time. That's how I feel with the discussion, too, because it was first a vision. Exactly. Um, me and Twan. Shout out to Twan, by the way. He's not here, but we're going we gonna to definitely, definitely talk. But um, it was like a vision at first, and we started, like, you know, have the love to talk to people and actually explore different types of people. Yeah. And then I started blogging because I love to write. Everybody knows I love to write, and that's why I do, like, all day, every day. And just coming with their discussion as a visual show is like, you know, I have, you know, shout out to Denzel, you know, PJ Plug. Um, and it's definitely like more than just a vision, it's more of just showing them. And it's like, you know, everybody's watching it, it's definitely, you know, there's motivation towards me too. That's a fact, it's a vision. You see, you have the vision, you see the vision, you see where you want to be in life. And I feel like that's what a lot of people don't see, you know. I mm -hmm. feel like everybody has the ability to do what they want to do. Some mm -hmm. people just don't know what they want to do for me. Exactly. Like, for me to, to really find what I be, really wanted to do, I literally was like sitting at night. It was dark in my room and I was just looking at the ceiling, bro. I was up from like nine o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the morning thinking, wow. like, what am I gonna do with life? Mm -hmm. For me, there's more to life. You could really do anything you want. Mm -hmm. But it really took that, like just me being in silence by myself to really find what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like anybody has the ability to do it. You just gotta really invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I think about life. You have to invest in yourself. Okay. With daily discussion, for me, you gotta invest your time, mm -hmm. you know, your money, you know, your peoples to get the vision together. For me, it's all about investing. And not mean cutting you off. We got no, so much in common, you know what I'm saying? And I know, like, basically, the way you was talking, you said you have to have time for your peoples, have time for, you know, the other things that you're doing, like with your job absolutely, and stuff like yeah, that. Absolutely. And, you know, I know you have a son. Yeah, my son. And I'm about to have a son. You know, it is crazy. Congrats, man. Thank you, bro. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Appreciate Congrats. it. Congrats. It's a blessing, bro. Really. It's yeah. a motivation as well, too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, how do you how do you deal with that? You know, like, you have a son and you're doing this on the side. And, you know, how do you actually, like, you know, Like, not time? lose yourself. You know, yeah, not lose yourself and in your, in your interests. Well, honestly, bro, it's, 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 it's all up to you, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like you could either, you know, lose yourself or you know your job is always to be there for your son. Right. Always, no matter what. Like my son, he he's not here. You know, he just moved to Tampa not too long. Wow. He's been out there for two years. But um, mm -hmm. I tend not to look at the negative. I always like seeing the positive in things. Right. So for example, that could have been an obstacle in life to separate me from my son. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, it's also positive. You know, it's like, you know, I still my job to be there for him. You always gotta know. You always have to be there for him. You always gotta make time for for your priorities. Right. You know, but it also it kind of gave me time to do my thing out here. Bro. Mm -hmm. So it's all about time management and knowing where you stand, knowing you are always gonna have to be there for your son. Right. I mean, you don't want to be a deadbeat. You know, you always want to know. Definitely not. No. So you always want to know. You always want to let your son know as he's growing up. My dad was out here doing his thing, mm -hmm. but the bigger picture was for me, for my family. Mm -hmm. for me. So I think this is just the fact that you gotta know your boundaries. You know, you know when not to get too lost. You know, in your craft, when mm -hmm. you kind of like push away from family, you always gotta know family comes first, bro. Of course, of course. So that's so that's how I think about it. That's how I look at it. Cause I think about it, and I I always think, always at nighttime, like you like you say, yeah. like you think of like from like two and like two and four to like Those nine be the in the best morning. times, bro. The and it's just like me just thinking about that is just like I think about that every day, like how I'm, I'm bouncing out, like yeah, man, you know, I have two bro. jobs and. Now I'm doing daily discussion and then I'm about to have a son. It's like, just balancing it out is what I'm worried about, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to lose myself and lose my dream, you know, of being like a host and actually being in television. Yeah. And then I want, also want to take care of my son. Absolutely. So I, I definitely it. understand where you're coming from. Don't though, just don't lose yourself, that's the thing. Don't get too caught up, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Know your vision and know you, where you want to go in life, but also know not to get, not to lose yourself, bro, not to get too caught up. Right. Also, your family has to be on the same page so they can understand you. Mm -hmm. it, took, it took a lot for my mom and my dad to really see where I was going, you know, coming from them who, who you know, they, they came to this country as immigrants, you know. Their, their, their vision is, you know, my son has to be a doctor, they have to go to school and be, um, you know, a lawyer, something like that, you know, that's, that's the way life was painted for them. But 
this generation is more of a entrepreneurship, I think, you know, it's like, you don't have to do that, you know, you can do whatever you want, right? And the hardest part is getting your family to understand that. I mean, they have, you have to show them your work. I feel like even with, you know, my son, my son, you know, he loves me drawing. Like, you know, mm. He sees, he That's sees it, feel me? He's like, oh, yeah. daddy, can you draw this? Can you draw that? Can you mm. draw the hope for me? When he came to the sneaker shop, PBT, he loved it. He's like, oh, I love wow. the sneaker shop. It's like, I showed him that what I'm doing is, you know, is, is my love. And he sees the love, too. Mm. And he's picking up it on, on it as well. You know, he wow. sees the craft that I do and, you know, how much work I put into it. You know? mm. So it's all about your family seeing the vision, too. I think that really plays a big part because that's support and that's love and that pushes you forward, too. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, do, you do, do you do anything else other than just focus on fashion? Like what else? I be trying to get into all, bro. I be trying to get into all. Fashion is like my, fashion is is where my heart is. I mean, that's where I see my, my path. But I also try to get into, the, into, you know, photography. You know, I feel like I have a good vision. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather be the one behind the lens oh, and, okay. instead of the one in front of it. Right. Because I feel like nobody has my vision, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's like that with a lot of people, but I like getting into photography, you know, just the art of it, you know, it's the vision, you practicing your eye and seeing how you could put things together. Right. So I like doing that. I like styling as well. Mm -hmm. I like thrifting on the side, doing things like that. Wow. And um, I've seen it on the yeah. too. Like, it's, it's definitely like, you take perfect. Like I don't know if that's you. Is that that you with the all the photography? Yeah, for the most part, everything on my feed is 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 uh it's it's my photography. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's based on streetwear, on uh, my photography. It's just my life, you know? All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 But so um, what was I saying? Like, who have you met in the um fashion industry so far? Fashion industry. Um. Well, I'm really, uh, bro. Honestly. I'm just I'm new to the game, bro. I'm new. Um, I had I had the, the honor to design a, a denim jacket because I do get into the denims. You know, everybody kind of does the denims, mm -hmm. but um, I feel like I was doing them. You know, before it was really on the wave, but I, I got to do a, a design for um for Scott. He's uh the directing salesman for Puma. Mm -hmm. you know, he came to me. He came to the shop. We actually um sold Pumas in the store. Right. So he was kind of like the rep, the sales rep. Okay. So, you know, he came in, my boy Jay put him on, like, hey, my boy, does the designs, you know, the denim jackets. He's, oh, he's, he's cool. big on vintage and thrift shopping. The art of networking. Exactly. <laughs> networking, bro, that shit is powerful. Right. But he came through, uh, he introduced myself um, to me, and yeah, he's like, look, I have this band, you know, I used to have this jean jacket back in the day, mm. um, and I lost it, bro, and it was, uh, it, was, it was a fire piece, bro. The band, I forgot the band. But um, it was fire. So he came to me. He's like, "Hey, if you could design it, bro, um, I'll pay you. You know what you want, or you know, I could I can compensate you on like some sample Pumas wow. and like." Uh, he came in with a nice ass leather jacket, bro. So fire. I was like, "Yo, I'll trade you a jacket for mine mm. for yours." He's like, "You know what? I got you. And on top of that, I'll give you some samples." That's what's up. So, so the art of networking. So I'm I got the design you. for him. Um. Um. Fab actually seen one of my pieces as well through social media. I did like, you know, his um his uh, his comic book theme. Mm -hmm. I forgot what album was that. Uh you know what I'm talking about? Um Summertime Shootout, I believe. Oh see the girl that oh, he, yeah, that, that yeah, was yeah. actually based off of uh, another piece of art. Right. Kind of switched it up with the money in her hand, you know, yeah, that was dope. But I did that, he ended up seeing that um on Twitter. But um, as far as like really fashion people that, that I got through to, it hasn't been too many. Yeah. Um, I'm more in streetwear. Like I've met people from Diamond, okay. um, the Hundreds. Um, that's what's up. But that's about it. You know, I'm still yeah. new to the game. There's still a lot of people I want to get to meet. I'm actually uh, designing a jean jacket. I'm trying to get through to the weekend. It's fire. Like jean jacket. Appreciate it. I think that's jean like jackets. that's a lot of people see the work that I'm doing into my jean jacket. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's too. Like everybody hop on a wave. You know, so it's like I gotta yeah. do, I gotta, I gotta push it forth. I gotta do more than than what's expected. That's true. So yeah. So right now, I haven't really met too many people, but I actually got to um, be a part of my my first New York Fashion Week that's, um, that's show. Cool. Yeah, I got to style for uh, a, a guy named Chuck. Chuck. Uh, Chuck. Yeah. Chuck. Of course, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. But he had he had <laughs> some fire pieces, bro. He mm -hmm. he was dope. But I got to. I got to um, style for him and help him out with his uh, with his fashion week show, and that was um thanks to New York School of Design, bro. That's Definitely thanks to them. They really put me 
into into that spot, you know, they gave me internships and stuff like that. Okay. So it's a good school. Going back to the school thing is, is dope. I mean, you can do a lot on your own, but I feel like when you go to school for what you want to do, once you find what you really want to do, mm -hmm. you'll get a lot, a lot of that knowledge, a lot of that help, too. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's what's, up. what's the What's the goal of uh, private PBT? Well, our goal as of right now is really, um, right now we're actually revamping. You know, we're trying to rebuild ourselves, rebrand ourselves. You know, we, mm -hmm. we came from being private stock mm -hmm. with a sneaker store to then just becoming private. You know, just becoming a brand. So mm -hmm. right now, we're just we're still in the baby steps. Right. The main goal is, you know, just like provide people with great product and authentic streetwear. Wow. You know, till this day, people don't know what streetwear is. You know, streetwear could be defined in many ways. Mm -hmm. You know, but the, there's roots to the streetwear. You know, there's aesthetic. You know, how to keep it going. Right. And a lot of people say there's streetwear, but they kind of tie into you know, high end. You know, it's not really right. streetwear. Streetwear. You know, the graphic tees. You know, when the underground artists, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think our big goal is just providing people with great quality product and authentic streetwear. You know, wow. taking okay. it far. With me, I want to, you know, I want to throw that into the mix, mm -hmm. but also give my taste of high end fashion. You know? Right. Just to build one big, you know, piece, one big product. You know? Yeah. How do you feel about people that that dress like classy? Like they dress like, you know, a blazer. Shirt and ties, slacks, shoes every day. Like, That's do you, fire, bro. Like, do you, like, do you, because sometimes I do, I like it, but I'm just like, oh, I'm not that type of person. Like, I can't see myself, you know, I'll wear it, like, yeah. you know, when it comes to events or a job. Of course, you know, if, if it's, if it's, uh, you know, an occasion. But honestly, when it comes to that, bro, I'm the type of person I like experimenting with style, you know. At the same time, I feel like you got to find yourself when it comes to fashion, you know. Right. You don't want to dress like anybody else. You don't want to look like anybody else. You want to be authentic. Mm -hmm. And a part of that is experimenting. I mean, see if the blazer and suit it fits you well, if it fits your body type well. Mm -hmm. Maybe the pants is like you need too tight for you. You know, it's like you gotta find what's good for you, with what suits you best. Right. I think that's when it comes to fashion, that's the best part. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing what is good for you and what fits you, not what fits everybody else. And you hopping on the wave. Right. So if the blazer and suit fits you, all for it. Even though I think a blazer and a suit looks good on anybody, but right. you always gotta, you know. Be clean, look classy. It's always a good feeling with a fresh cup, all that. It's, it's a good Go feeling, but I'm just honest, not for me. Like, yeah, but if no, it's not for you, just you feel me. Just don't do it. You gotta be yourself. Yeah. If you go into a nice occasion, bro, of course, nigga, get fly, bro, get fly, yeah, throw yeah. it on. But if on a daily thing, if it's not true, it's not you, bro. Got it, got it. So, just to wrap things up, we always wrap things up with a daily discussion question. Um, well, my question is. How do you feel with like the fashion industry as being split up with streetwear and like classy wear? Basically, just going back on the question I just asked you, mm -hmm. like just saying, like how do you feel with people judging people of what they wear? Like saying like, oh, if they see someone with streetwear and he's not really financially stable, if they see someone with a blazer and shirt and tie, he's financially stable. Like, how do you feel about people that judge people based off of what they wear? Mm, that's a that's a that's a great question, bro. Um, me, I think first of all, you shouldn't judge anybody on their fashion taste mm -hmm. because, like I said, that's who they are. If they feel comfortable with what they're wearing and they want to feel great in Supreme or they want to feel great in Versace, they want to feel great in you know some casual wear, maybe some Old Navy, like you know, right. if that's what they want to do and they feel comfortable in it, that's that's them, bro. I mean, you could you could you could kind of like you know critique somebody on the the piece the, the silhouette or the design, but um to just somebody just off of what they wear, mm -hmm. you know it's everybody judges you know it's kind of like nature you know everybody judges, but um I feel like me as a person I would look I would kind of look at it more as a you know as inspiration like hey maybe oh, I see how they wore this and that that's dope you know. Right. Like maybe I can mix it into maybe one of my designs or maybe one of my fits, you know. That's true. I like getting inspired rather than, than just judge, you know. Right. Like I like trying to see the positives and everything, you know. So maybe your fit was, you know, was calm, but I like how you styled this and that. You know, I'm not gonna judge you saying your your fit was regular. Yeah, definitely. You know I mean? definitely. But it's dope. Feel me? Like I, I I like seeing I like picking up the good things and everything. You know? Right. But um yeah I don't I don't really think fashion should be judged by the way you look or dress. Like I said, that's you. If that's who you are. If yeah. you wanna, if you wanna go all out and get crazy with the colors, that's you, bro. Like, power to you. If you feel comfortable in what you wear, you love what you wear. 
That's awesome. Bro. That's awesome. That's what's up. That's what's up. Did you see my sketch before we wrap up? I just want to see that. Um, yeah. You've been drawing the whole time, <laughs> like, and I'm just like, this geez. is just a retake. I gotta fix the the fedora. I had, like I said, practice is perfect. But um, this is the first sketch. Ooh. Feel me? It's a uh, nice Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. I just you see know, like a jean jacket or. Yeah, man, I don't know what my boy's doing with this, but, you know, he wanted to go for a nice classic 1950s, 1960s, also like a Bonnie and Clyde mm -hmm. inspired thing. So, oh, that's dope. you know, hit him with the fedora. Fedora came a little short, you know, so I got to fix it up, make it a little taller. But um, this is show, this is this is kind of like my aesthetic, you know, just like simple, clean, right. you know, black on white, you know, things, you know, maybe just add a little contrast to the cigar. I love your art, man. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, like I said, it's dope, like, I don't bro. really do too crazy, you know? I'm not this crazy designer. It's just well, baby you, steps, feel me? Where yeah. I see myself is definitely, you know, on a higher level, you know, this is just baby steps, bro. Like, definitely you know, a better draw than me. Yeah, but I think I probably got a couple pieces just to show you, like, where, where I like to go with it. You know, just, just a little bit more of a colorful Ooh, piece man. right here. You know, oh, it's inspired man. by Red Skull. I'm really, I'm really big on comic books, you know? Comic that's, books that's, that's not good, me. because... Yeah, that's, that's it's child. Just too. going back to my roots, I used to collect comic books and everything. Wow. Um, to my design pieces, this is a 1950s inspired type wow. of. Uh, wow. I would love. Yeah, this is definitely a goal of mine making this piece. In school, you know, I went into there thinking about you know menswear, mm -hmm. but I I found out it was just women's wear. You start off with design, so I started doing skirts and jackets and blouses and it really opened up my mind that's what i'm saying school is good bro to attend for what you love you open up your knowledge that's you know? good that you do it for all way too yeah because bro that's where the money's at bro girls that's, that's and drop, shop and drop bro you know guys it's like we a little bit more iffy we were just now getting into the high end you know getting fly but women women have always been about the fashion definitely yeah. definitely yeah. So oh, definitely man. finishing off with 444. 444. The discussion, right. episode 444, like I said, with Mars, PBT Private. Um, it. it was definitely a pleasure. Definitely to have you, pleasure. Man. Man. Totally. Keep doing, pleasure. Yo, keep doing your thing, bro. Keep doing bro, your bro, thing, bro. Yeah. Much love to your yeah. family and you upcoming family, bro. Like I said, it's a blessing, bro. Definitely, definitely. definitely a bro. blessing and a motivation, man. My pleasure to be on this. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. And the reason why we called it 444, actually. Yeah. It's because we're using like four cameras, and I feel like I'm a superstar. Yeah, like, I feel like I'm that. a superstar. Damn, man. You know me? Like, I'm just four like, cameras in an all 4K quality. Wow. Oof. Yo, I'm not even lying. That's some dope. That's some 444. Like, like, even yeah. Zell was like, yo, my heart. Like, my heart, <laughs> my heart was the same way man, when, when I see the vision four is cameras. manifesting, I feel like that's, that's fire. That's the fire. Bro. You appreciate everything in life at that moment. Yo, do your shout out. Let them know what's oh, up. Yeah, man. So you guys can follow me on social media. Uh, my Instagram is pbt.mars. That's pbt.marrs. You can also follow me on um, Depop. Uh, same thing, Hemi Mars. That's where I sell some of my vintage clothing pieces that I pick up from the thrift. And um, definitely follow the brand, PBT Stock and Y. That's PBT S T O C K N Y. Wrapping up with episode 444 of Daily Discussion. Tune into episode five, but definitely this episode right here. I'm gonna let you guys know this is gonna be a special one, especially with Mars. You know what I'm saying? Just drawing like while the interview is happening, like who does that? Like, yo, but definitely daily discussion episode four four. Wrapping up, let's get it.